वेरी वार्म वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेल आज के हमारे जो गेस्ट हैं ही हैज बीन प्रैक्टिसिंग मेडिसिन सिंस फ्रॉम द पास्ट 2 इयर्स सो प्लीज हेल्प मी इन वेलकमिंग डॉक्टर शिविका फ्रॉम बठिंडा हाय अंकित थैंक यू सो मच सो डॉक्टर शिविका हाउ हैज बीन द जर्नी टिल नाउ सो इट्स बीन अ ग्रेट जर्नी इट्स बीन अ रोलर कोस्टर राइड यू नो विद इट्स ओन हाइज एंड लोस देयर वर टाइम्स व्हेन आई लाइक यूज्ड टू फील सो स्ट्रेस्ड एंड देयर वर टाइम्स व्हेन the moments were like the happiest moments of my life so it's been a roller coaster ride for me okay so uh, dr shivika let's get back to your mbbs journey uh, what made you choose this particular profession firstly uh, i would say that i had always interest in human biology so i you know i wanted to know like how human body works so that was the first reason second there was no doctor in the family so okay. my father motivated me to become a doctor so i chose medicine okay and uh, thoda sa aap apne background ke bare mein bata sakte ho about your college and your uh, uh, i did my graduation from dmc patiala punjab and then i did my post graduation from punjab dmc ludhiana then i worked as a sr in uh, for one year in a medical college now i'm practicing in my own setup i have my own setup so i'm practicing here Okay, so Dr. Shivika, yeah. uh, why internal medicine only? So internal medicine, I I felt like it was like a puzzle for me. You know, you re you reach one clue and then you move on to the other clue. So it was like a solving a puzzle for me. You know, I was always drawn to cases that required thorough investigation. So medicine has always been very interesting for me. So I chose medicine. Okay, so yeah. Dr. Shivika, you know, based on my understanding and experience. generally what happens is after talking to so many students in days it is very difficult for them to decide you know which branch to opt for specifically mm -hmm. because there are new emerging branches also nuclear medicine radio oncology and all yes. and at that time it is very difficult ki you know within a time span of 4 to 5 weeks i think wohi maximum time span hota hai aapke hisab se what was the moment when you decided ki mujhe internal medicine hi jana hai See I was always like I don't want surgery I'm not made for surgery so surgery was out for me then came the medicinal branches I guess I it was into my medical posting you know medicine posting during my clinical years when I developed interest in medicine I still remember a case of you know uh, a poisoning case OPC poisoning case a young male and he was the only child to his parents so he came with OPC poisoning so we intubated him well in time so he was saved so that time i decided that you taking medicine i can you know make a impact a bigger impact in the lives of people so i chose medicine you know okay so uh, what's your daily schedule for for now yes as of now now it's like you know 8 to 5 uh, in the opd and then post that emergency 24 into 7 i'm available for my patients okay so do you, you like having that workaholic attitude right yeah 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 whenever like i don't have anything to do i feel bored these days like i'm so used to working up so yeah okay. and and what do you do in your free time i always try to you know develop a skill so i've started like practicing yoga and then i you know keep on practicing one or the other thing so i you know try to develop new skills every day and i do try to read you know uh, new updates in the medicine also okay so uh, talking about your mbbs journey what was your turning point which path which you know shaped your career as an mbbs student so i would say i guess my clinical postings when i had exposure into you know even the surgical branches i had exposure into medicine postings so i guess that uh, turned me like that decided to me that that is when i decided that i want medicine as my you know branch okay so uh, considering as of now dekho jo mbbs ka bhi curricular hai kahin na kahin students are more of stuck in these things ki practicals theories aur in sab cheezon ko manage kaise kare Right. what was your strategy and thought process at that time वैसे तो देखिए सर आई वाज आल्सो स्टक एट दैट टाइम दो आई नाउ हैव अ क्लियर विजन यू नो फॉर थ्योरी आई गेस इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू फॉलो स्टैंडर्ड टेक्स्ट बुक्स इट्स ऑलवेज इंपॉर्टेंट टू रीड कांसेप्ट्स टू यू नो मेक गुड कांसेप्ट्स योर बेसिक्स शुड बी वेरी क्लियर 
नाउ डेज वॉट स्टूडेंट्स आर डूइंग इज की अब सब लोग लाइक दे आर ज्वाइनिंग कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एट अ वेरी अर्ली स्टेज लाइक फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ईयर सेकेंड ईयर सो दे जस्ट यू नो दे आर जस्ट रीडिंग नोट दे आर नॉट फॉलोइंग एनी स्टैंडर्ड टेक्सट बुक्स सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर स्टूडेंट्स टू फॉलो स्टैंडर्ड टेक्सट बुक्स to have good concepts to you know uh, clear the basics and you can follow uh, it up with the notes right so they are just like you know uh, notes in a very concise manner so you can just follow but don't skip the standard textbooks so it's very important to read textbooks and make good concepts okay dr shivika abhi pata recently mai ek second ki se bhi mila tha and mai naam nahi lunga so we were just having a normal conversation about the competency level so they were like ki जो करंट जनरेशन अभी आ रही है ना कहीं ना कहीं दिल लैक बेसिक कॉम्पिटेंसी स्किल्स स्पेसिफिक विद रिस्पेक्ट टू क्लिनिकल एस्पेक्ट राइट 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 कि यू नो जो करंट जनरेशन है या करंट सिनेरियो भी चल भी रहा है एमबीबीएस का रिगार्डिंग अभी देखो नेक्स्ट के लिए भी यू नो देर लॉट ऑफ क्या गोइंग ऑन एनबी की तरफ से भी बहुत सारे चेंजेस आ भी रहे हैं डू यू थिंक करंट कॉम्पिटेंसी लेवल इज अप टू द मार्क no sir actually what i feel is like the current examination pattern is even you know it's not testing your clinical skills so it's only testing like your you know learning power basically your rectification you can say theory and basically recall right it's not actually testing your clinical skills your surgical skills and your other skills also which are very important in day to day in clinical practice actually so i guess you know it should include more of clinical concepts more of your skill developing concepts so these should be included more so what okay. i feel is like even do, uh, when i was doing my residency to mere paas jo interns aate the to what they used to do was they just they just used to read their notes they just used to sit in the duty hours and they just used to read notes aur fir wo jald kehte the ki ma'am jaldi hame bhej do jaldi bhej do because they wanted to go and read the notes so then today is matlab students they're not paying attention into your into their internship mm-hmm. so aapke hisab se what are the common mistakes students are doing while preparing sir number one is like not focusing on basic concepts i guess it's very important to follow with standard textbooks secondly not paying attention to the clinical skills bedside learning is very very important right so spend time with your patients because you know the best thing to learn is from the patients itself so spend good time with patients learn good clinical skills thirdly you have to practice good number of mcqs and you have to uh, give good number of gts as well so all these things are needed for a good uh, you know good rank in neat okay so dr shivika aapke hisab se how is the life of a mbbs student different from that of a resident mbbs was totally chill so there were there was no responsibility we used to have a lot of like hostel fun there was new learning definitely but it was more of like fun you know we used to like race between exams and fun but during i guess residency it's more of like it's a lot of responsibility long hours of work sleepless nights mm-hmm. uh, you know more of responsibility than comes a thesis so there's a lot of pressure but definitely there's more growth also any any specific uh, memory you would like to share during your mbbs journey Uh, I remember during my uh, forensic viva, so my examiner, my external examiner, के पास जो viva हुआ, तो he just said कि छः महीने के बाद दोबारा मिलेंगे. So I could not like sleep for endless nights. I went to my forensic professor to know about the results. So I guess that moment was very stressful for me. So later on, though I passed the exam with good number. So, but I don't, I don't know like why did the examiner say to me, मतलब what was the fun behind this? and even pata hai abhi to moreover aapke time pe to there either you see be three subjects i guess three, uh, four subjects in the second year right right correct right. pattern hai jo uh, pre final ke students hai specifically 21 batch ke 2022 batch ke unke sirf two subjects hain forensic and bsc right. right. has been shifted to the final year and still there is lot of fomo because of course ki hota hai ki ha pressure uh, why forensic mein itna kyun hota hai students ko I don't know, so maybe the forensic examiners ही थोड़े ऐसे होते हैं तो they're rude, they are rude I feel. Okay, so अभी के लिए देखो जैसे considering अभी जो PG का भी perspective है, like consider मतलब of course there would be क्योंकि अभी counselling भी चल रही है, you know going ahead with INI set results and everything. And of course देखो internal medicine की बात करो कहीं ना कहीं PGI Chandigarh is one of the topmost concern for every student. Right, sir. 
यू मतलब रिकॉलिंग योर दैट राउंड की जब आपकी वो जर्नी रही थी do you also have this thing ki ha yaar uh, you prefer pgi chandigarh and you know going ahead with dmc kya matlab changes the wahan pe of course sir, like aims delhi and pgi chandigarh were always you know first choice for every candidate but sometimes you know life keeps on going so i got dmc i'm still proud of my college so i had a lot of memories i had a very good learning so i had a very good exposure so today i don't repent you know not going to such prestigious colleges so i had a great learning so you know life keeps on going and it's you know whatever college you get don't feel like this heart and that you didn't get aims delhi or like pgi chandigarh you know you have to like keep learning there are patients everywhere so it all depends on you so i guess there's a good learning everywhere Okay. So, Dr. Shivika, आपके हिसाब से what is the one thing which you learned in the PG, which you thought that you should have known it in your MBBS journey as well? Ah, uh, sir, I think uh, clinical skills like more of bedside learning, more patient interaction. So during my MBBS days, we used to like uh, go to our clinical posting started uh, during my third year. So I feel like the clinical posting should start at a very early stage. We needed to have like more. हमारा तो सेकेंड ईयर भी लाइक डेढ़ साल का था तो बट आई गेस ठीक है चलो थर्ड ईयर से भी हो रहे हैं बट यू है पोस्टिंग जस्ट गिव यू हंड्रेड परसेंट आई पी एंड मोर ओवर डॉक्टर आपको लगता है की जो हमारा इंडियन एजुकेशन सिस्टम है जैसे आपने भी एम्फोसाइज किया इट्स मोर टुवर्ड्स क्लिनिकल इंटीग्रेशन एंड एवरीथिंग स्पेसिफिकली विद रिस्पेक्ट टू क्लिनिकल नॉलेज डू यू थिंक इंडियन एजुकेशन सिस्टम इज मोर टुवर्ड्स एग्जाम ओरिएंटेड और गोइंग अहेड विद मार्क्स एंड एवरीथिंग डेफिनेटली सर डेफिनेटली बिकॉज़ अभी ये जो नीड पीजी भी है इट इज जस्ट एमसीक्यू बेस्ड लाइक इट्स जस्ट योर वन डे परफॉर्मेंस सो आई फील इट शुड मोर बी बेस्ड ऑन लाइक योर क्लिनिकल स्किल्स योर इवन योर कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स हाउ डू यू इंटरेक्ट विद द पेशेंट्स योर कोपिंग स्किल्स एंड एवरीथिंग so clinical skills are very important to be tested your surgical skills so all these things need to be tested to be a good clinician so let's say agar aapke hisab se next implement hota hai what will be your take on that uh next to hai वैसे सर बहुत सारे गाइडलाइंस आर नॉट वेरी क्लियर इट इज स्टिल लाइक इवॉल्विंग सो दे आर बोथ प्रोस एंड कॉन्स प्रोस आई वुड से लाइक अ सिंगल एग्जाम तो इट विल सेव टाइम एंड इट इज मोर ऑफ लाइक आई गेस बेस्ड ऑन प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज एज़ वेल सो दीस आर pros and cons i would say a single exam will decide like you are in your practicing license basically and your med, uh, entry into neat pg mm-hmm. so i think it has both its pros and cons or jab i guess they implement hoga tab i guess zara better hame pata lagega okay so let's say you have the power right um in uh, going ahead with the uh, nmc guidelines what is the one thing which uh, you would like to change in the curriculum so there are a lot of things that i would like to change first of all i would like any, any... to trim trim all the unnecessary information that needs to be mugged up during mbbs there's a lot of unnecessary information that we have to like mug up so i'll delete all those chapters and then secondly i guess mental health you know there's a very less focus on mental health of students so i guess mental health needs to be focused upon so that is very very important and third is like a uh, bedside learning from an early stage that is important okay uh, dr shivika jaise aap bata rahe ho abhi you know considering you know there is there is plethora of information right, right now right, so. you know talking about ki ki dekho exam point of view se bhi agar main baat karu matter ye nahi karta ki humne kitna padha hai matter ye karta hai ki hame kitna yaad hai aur us yaad ke se bhi hum kitna reproduce karwa rahe hain right so considering agar main ek aise hack keh lo ya aisa tactic keh lo जो स्टूडेंट्स के लिए हेल्पफुल हो कंसीडरिंग क्योंकि देखो अगर मान लो उनको एक फिल्ट्रेशन प्रोसेस चाहिए हो कि दिस इज द फिल्ट्रेशन थिंग कि आप इंफॉर्मेशन को फिल्टर कर सको तो डू यू थिंक विल दैट बी इफेक्टिव और अगर हम करें भी सही तो लेट्स से हाउ शुड अ स्टूडेंट डू इट बिकॉज़ ऑफ कोर्स अगर वो बुक्स भी उठा रहा है तो इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर हिम और ही टू डिसाइड कि क्या पढ़ना है क्या एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से इंपॉर्टेंट है और हो सकता है कई यस या और हो सकता है कई बार जो नीट पीजी के पर्सपेक्टिव से इंपॉर्टेंट हो वो प्रॉफ एग्जाम्स के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से इंपॉर्टेंट ना भी हो Hmm. So okay. how how should a student student differentiate you know uh, and how should he or she create a balance between the both? 
सो आई गेस इट इज बिकम वेरी इजी दीज डेज क्योंकि आजकल बहुत सारे कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट आ गए सो दे हेल्प अ लॉट सो दे डेफिनेटली यू नो दे प्रोवाइड यू द काइंड ऑफ पैटर्न दैट द एग्जाम सेट्स इन सो आई गेस आजकल कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट इस चीज में काफी हेल्पफुल है बट वही है कि यू जस्ट रीड योर टेक्सट बुक एंड देन एड ऑन टू योर एड ऑन द पॉइंट टू योर नोट एंड फॉलो इट अप विद एम सी क्यूज एंड योर ग्रैंड टेस्ट बट स्टिल वो भी इतना बड़ा वो हो जाता है यू नो गोइंग अहेड चाहे प्लेटफॉर्म्स वाइज भी है अगर देखा है तो डू यू थिंक कि वहां पे रोल मॉडल्स की या मेंटर्स की हेल्प मतलब क्योंकि देखो टीचर्स तो कहीं ना कहीं प्रॉप एग्जांपल तो बता देते हैं बट कंसीडर इजी की जर्नी है तो वहां पे यू नो स्टूडेंट कहीं ना कहीं स्टक हो जाता है तो मतलब रोल मॉडल्स आपकी लाइफ में भी रहे हैं बिल्कुल सर लाइक सीनियर्स आर द बेस्ट टीचर्स आई फील हम स्टार्टिंग से हम लोग जब एग्जाम्स आते हैं तो हम अपने क्वेश्चन बुक मार्क करवाते रहे हैं तो आई गेस इन चीजों में भी आई गेस सीनियर्स आर द बेस्ट टीचर्स दे गाइड यू वेल लाइक वॉट काइंड ऑफ स्टफ शुड बी रीड एंड डेफिनेटली देन द कंसल्टेंट एन द टीचर्स फ्रॉम द कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट सो दे प्ले अ बिग रोल इन दिस ओके सो एनी एनी मेंटोर और पेशेंट जर्नी विच इम्पैक्टेड यू द मोस्ट There there were were many, there were many, sir. I one case I have already discussed that there was a case of OPC poisoning, like uh, I guess during uh, my first week of uh, medical posting. So that impacted me a lot. And then there were another case of GBS. So there were many cases that impacted a lot. Okay. Any any specific one? Jo abhi tak bhi matlab it it gives you goosebumps. uh it was not during my mbbs i want to discuss it like it was during my residency days you know when i entered my residency it was covid era so uh, we had many patients we had many deaths in covid as well so i still remember a patient coming to me with shortness of breath had an onset shortness of breath and fever so he just came like his saturation was very low at that time so the moment we intubated him like he had cardiac arrest so that was very 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 disturbing for me you know so these things like and then there are certain patients they come to you like very dysnic and then you intubate them and then you save their life so all of these you know they impact you a lot so how how do you motivate yourself you know going ahead with extreme situations then getting back to uh, normal day to day routines going ahead with a hectic schedule I feel sir like my patients are my biggest motivators because when they get cured and then they bless me so I feel and that's a different feeling. Okay. So any any one advice which you would like to give to all the MBBS students? For well, for MBBS students I would say that don't wait for like that perfect time. Maybe apne MBBS mein soche thi ye time pe chalo ye jab time aayega main ye padungi ya tab aise karungi. I guess don't wait for that perfect time. It never really comes. So, ये कि set you know small achievable goals and you know to try to achieve those goals. So don't wait for the last moment and don't wait for the like. बिल्कुल ऐसा नहीं है कि exam से पहले आप last minute revision कर रहे हो. So set small achievable goals daily. Okay. Considering देखो अभी के लिए जो scenario चल भी रहा है मतलब अभी GMC जम्मू का भी हमने case देखा होगा. You must have seen right. There are a lot of controversies going around it. Uh, what is the one thing which you think which is most understood about doctors these days there are a lot of things sir uh, i would say like people think like doc being a doctor is the whole identity for us like we are 24 into 7 available we should be actually 24 into 7 available for them like we should be like answering their least important doubts even at odd times so i feel like that is the biggest misconception about doctors Okay, so any any since you know, अभी NEET PG का exam भी हो रहा है. Any any word of advice which you would like to give to the students? So of course, ये बहुत ज़्यादा अभी stressful period है for all the NEET PG aspirants. But I would say like you have done, you have done a lot of MCQs, you have read a lot of theory. So don't worry, you'll be able to perform in a very good way. So अब ऐसा लगता रहता है कि मुझे ये भी नहीं याद, मुझे ये भी नहीं याद. बट लास्ट मोमेंट पे व्हेन यू सी द क्वेश्चन अगर आपने दो तीन बार उसको देखा हुआ है तो यू बी एबल टू सॉल्व दैट क्वेश्चन ओके एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट योर ब्रांच एनी मतलब इफ यू वुड डिस्क्राइब इंटरनल मेडिसिन इन वन सेंटेंस व्हाट इट वुड बी सो मेडिसिन फॉर मी आई फील इट्स अ लाइफ लॉन्ग जर्नी इट्स अ लाइफ लॉन्ग रिलेशनशिप फॉर मी विद इट्स ओन कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज एंड एंडलेस लर्निंग Okay, so uh, what are your further plans going ahead from now onwards? 
So I'm currently I'm having my own setup. So I am currently pr uh, practicing as a consultant in medicine. So I'm feeling happy. <laughs> okay. Take care. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Shweta, for sharing your valuable time. Thank and you, Andre. Thank you. Sorry, your future endeavors. Thank you so much. Thank you.